hello again. I've just had John on the phone saying that the, the drill is on its way to the field. So off we jolly well go. I'm quite looking forward to this. Um, we'll see how it works. As I say, we had a look at this machine at Serials back in June. Um, it was just a brief look. Plus it was actually working on stubbles that had been previously worked by other machines so it wasn't it w wasn't really a true demo to be honest with you. Which as a little side point was my only bugbear with serials is they should have a little bit more work and demo space and really a machine only ever has to do one run if you know when it's doing it and you can be there to have a look but it probably would have got overcrowded. Um, but nevertheless that's where we first saw this. Um, and it's here, round the next bend, just round the next bend. We've got to go through this gateway ahead. I'm not quite sure which field he's doing. Probably the first one on the right, I would imagine. Up oh, there we are, down in the corner. Off it goes. Not a lot of soil disturbance there, is there? So with all the settings finalised, they're ready to have another go. They seem to have the depth right, the pressure on the springs, etc. It looks like they're ready to rock and roll. I might have to shift my car. Let's see if we can follow on down here. Got the settings right. Right, we'll try and do a little follow-on with the drill, see how it's doing. So we're travelling and drilling at walking pace. I'm managing to keep up with it, but to me it seems to be doing a great job. Managing to get through the trash all right. Doesn't seem to be too much cogging up on it. We'll have a look around the side. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> try and stop bumping into the rip stalks. Oh, well, let's see if we can actually see the seed coming down the spouts. I think that's probably the right speed. Sitting nice and stable, it's not bouncing about too much. I'm getting a little bit out of breath after walking fast after that. Well, I think that looks pretty good. So 
So we'll catch John coming up the other way. I say this tractor and sumo direct drill is kindly on demonstration from Everett and Marshall. The main deal is in Hexham, local to us here. And they've been out this morning getting it all set up, spent a lot of time. So we've got to be grateful to them for that. And there we go. Let's take a look at the seed depth in one of the trashy areas and um, see it's putting it down into the soil it's going through all of that trash and not an insub insubstantial amount of trash and it's putting it down into the soil cutting through it and that's a pretty super duper job actually to be honest with you let's have a look at the the depth of the seed now if we if we cut back there's the there's the soil surface a little drop checker machine so that's the bottom of the channel 26 millimeters so that's pretty perfect i would say oh dear dear dear, dear. the old knees I think we can be really impressed with the job that this machine's doing. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And big thanks to Everett and Marshall once again from Hexham for giving us a chance to use this today. Um, the other thing while we're here, general direct drilling stuff. Um, if we were to just take a look at what we're doing here, and rip stubble direct drilled lovely tilth perfect seed bed just needs the rollers over it there's a cracking seed bed there in the band where the plants where the seeds have been put in absolutely superb um, and to me that's direct drilling at its best super machine and again it's not just the fact that it's a good machine that's doing a good job the build quality is absolutely superb on this machine it's first class build quality you can just tell it's solid yeah it's um, a solid machine not bouncing about all over the place absolutely fantastic